You are looking at an artificial arm made of plastic and made just for children. This is, um, this is actually a sleeve that we did for a young girl in Virginia. These cutting edge prosthetics are changing both lives and the future of medicine. It's all 3D printed and then we go back and we apply these really beautiful paint jobs on top of them. You heard it right, 3D printed arms. They were made by engineering students at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. A year and a half ago, they started a nonprofit called Limbitless Solutions. The cost to a family for one of these, nothing. We feel like uh, charging for the arm is almost a monetary punishment. Uh, and regardless of, of the affluence your family may have, uh, we don't feel that any family should be punished for the condition of their child's birth. Um, and so for us, or, or an accident or anything that happens throughout life. A traditional prosthetic arm could cost tens of thousands of dollars. The material for these comes to about 300 bucks. And of course, the students donate their time. So far, they've made about 20. Legs, because they are weight bearing, remain a challenge. Alex Pring got the first, then he upgraded to one just like this, kind of like Iron Man's bionic arm. In fact, Iron Man himself, actor Robert Downey Jr., presented Alex with his new arm. Ready? Yep. Great. God, dude, it's even cooler than I thought. We have changed so many things and we have learned so many things from the kids. They are the ones who give us the feedback. They're the ones who tell us, I don't like this, I like this. These 3D printed prosthetics are unique because they are electronic. Most are mechanical. Sensors on muscles activate these artificial limbs. Dominique attached electrodes to my forearm. Could I pick up a water bottle? Flex. <laughs> All right, now flex again. There you go. There we go. Wonderful. There you go. We did it. Yeah. The future of 3D printed body parts seems to be, pardon the pun, limitless. You can't tell right now, but when the printing is done, this will be a plastic heart. So basically, you think um, this 3D technology is an upcoming technology. At the UCF Medical School, well, uh, Professor Denender Singla and his students are perfecting the techniques to produce an exact replica of a human heart. Within a year, they hope to print a patient's defective heart, taking two-dimensional CAT scans and MRIs and giving the surgeon a 3D look. We will print the diseased heart, which will give a surgeon a very nice, clear idea where to open the heart, the damaged part of the heart would print in one color, while the healthy muscle would print in another. Before he even makes the first incision, a surgeon would know exactly what he's dealing with, even on the inside of the heart. Yeah, and we're not limited to just cutting it in half. We can cut it wherever we need to in order to visualize it um, most correctly. What they are doing now is just the beginning, Dr. Singla says. Down the road, in a decade or two, using what's called bioprinting, they may be able to produce a complete artificial heart. The future, quite literally, a heartbeat away. John Zarella, CCTV, Orlando.